Exactly two weeks after a public forum at Kakana High School, students and staff are grieving again. Another student has taken his own life, once again raising questions. Fox 11's Ryan Dietz has more this evening. As soon as students walked into Kakana High School Tuesday morning, they say they knew something was wrong. And, and I kind of just knew right away by the people's emotions that there was another one. Another student took his own life Monday, the fourth since May. I uh, got the news uh, first hour and uh, I felt a little sad myself. It's, I mean, not good stuff. School leaders continue to search for answers. Principal Michael Werbowski has talked with other students and principals about the issues at the school. And there are situations and scenarios that are happening um, that are not much different than ours. And um, unfortunately, at this point, we've had um, a few of them in, in a row. It, it actually can feed itself. Dr. Frank Cummings is a psychologist in Appleton and says people should not be silent about the problems. I think the best thing to do is to get together and to know what those risk factors are. Students say they are coming together in the wake of these tragedies and Wurbowski says the school will continue to work together to prevent another suicide. You have people that care about you and we want it to be uh, a better day for everyone. In the wake of four lives lost at Kakana High School, students say a better day is exactly what they need. Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News. Kakana's principal went on to say that there are resources available to students and staff who are grieving. The school is also planning programs and assemblies to try to build self-esteem among the student body.